What up, YouTube? It's JT. I'm out here. I'm in uh, Inglewood, California. You know what I'm saying? And this is the breakdown. Big fight this weekend. Sorry for the noise, man. I'm out here on Crenshaw, man, on the main street. But it's the main breakdown, man. This is a big fight this weekend. You know, I know I haven't been doing videos, man, but with all this craziness and, you know, working in a hospital, actually working in the ER and, uh, you know, just on top of that, man, boxing has just been boring. It's been the same arguments, the same just boredom, nonsense. Gary Russell, Devin, like that shit is boring, man. It's just dumb shit. But this is a big fight. This one got me excited, so why not talk about it? Lomachenko versus Teofimo. Lomachenko versus Teofimo. Two top guys at 135. Um, I know they say David, Devin Haney is the WBC champion, but I mean... In all honesty, we know Lomachenko beat Luke Campbell and he never lost. So, you know, it's kind of hard to say that even though they made him quote unquote franchise champion, it's hard to say that he's not the chubby BC champion. So in my eyes, this is for the undisputed title. And I feel like uh, as of right now, I feel like Lomachenko is right for the picking, man. This is a time. I mean, if there if was any ever a time to beat Lomachenko, although he already got beat by an Uber driver, but if there ever was a time to beat him, I think this is the time really to exploit the fact that his uh, basically his uh, his weaknesses that have been hidden from top by top rank, which is that's what they do. You know, guys who are limited, guys who, you know, they might have a little fan base that could be exploited like a Manny Pacquiao or, you know, who's limited. They're the top rank. This is what they do, man. They are good at hiding your flaws, exploiting fan bases, exploiting delusional fans and making a guy seem like he's better than what he actually is because in all that honesty we, there's already a blueprint on how to beat Lomachenko see niggas out here are just crazy man but there's always there's already a blueprint on how to beat Lomachenko he lost to a guy who got caught stealing beers out of the liquor store which is Salido he got bullied he got pushed back you got guys like Michael Montero and ESPN. They try to hide the fact that that even happened. Oh, it doesn't matter. I, will, I listened to a video by Michael Montero. A video I haven't watched this guy in uh, years, probably. And, uh, you know, first thing he does, he starts comparing Lomachenko to Mayweather. And he starts saying, oh, his loss doesn't matter. So there goes your credibility right there in your whole video. Like, dude, if the guy lost, he lost. That's it. Of course, people are going to compare his loss or going to bring up the fact that he lost because he did. He lost. That's how it works, man. You know? So, in actuality, man, um, I know Lomachenko like to do his little bunny rabbit hop in and out. But I just think, honestly, Tiafimo is just too big, too strong, too young for him right now. I can see Teofimo getting him out of there within seven or eight rounds with a just out of nowhere devastating right hand or a devastating right hand. It's gonna be a devastating right hand because I'm not so sure I'm not so sold on Lomachenko's chin as well. I mean he got put down by Linares, who basically is a pillow puncher, man. I mean, that's basically been Linares' his whole career. Who who has he knocked out? Who has he stopped? The guy is basically a guy who's been exploited his whole career for having no power. Guys with power exploit him, put pressure on him. You know, I feel like the, you know, uh, I feel like Lomachenko's basically Achilles heel is infighting 
putting pressure on them in fighting, using your size and roughing them up, which is what Salito did. So I don't see what the beef is or why everyone is so up in arms about Salito beating the shit out of Lomachenko. It happened, and that's how it works, man. He did what you do to a guy like Lomachenko. You know, most of these Eastern European fighters, they don't like pressure. They don't like body shots. Um, What troubles me a little bit is, you know, that's not really... Uh, that's not really... Um, uh, what's his name? Not really Tiafimo style. He's more of a boxer. But he has the... Uh, He has the, uh, basically, he has the uh, size and the strength, I believe, to pull it off. You know? So, it's going to be a good fight, man. Can't wait to see it, dude. You guys tell me what you think. It's JT. I'm out.